praying together, Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in the assurance of our eternal life with you. Amen. Our call to worship today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. I'll be reading the NRSV version, which will match what you see on the screen. Let's read this together in unison. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her animals. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servant girls. She calls from the highest places in the town. You that are simple, turn in here. To those without sense, she says, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Lay aside immaturity, and live, and walk in the way of insight. Oh, my God, I'll attend all 
Please pray with me. Lord, as we celebrate your Sabbath day, uh, each of us in our own place, we pray that we would welcome your spirit into our midst. Um, And in doing so, we also pray for your spirit of protection. So often when we find ourselves facing obstacles and difficulties in our lives, we we think of them as challenges that we must overcome. But we are human, God, and, and though you empower us with compassion and courage and patience, we also have limits and weakness. And so today I pray, God, that we might remember that our struggles are not always a matter of us first fighting and until we are broken and then turn to in our brokenness. Help us to remember that you instead want to walk alongside with us, to fight our battles with us, that you desire to give us the full armor of God rather than just a, a tag team partner for our pains. It's sometimes so hard to ask you to join us in the muck and the mire of, of all our pain or our shame, but you've already done so and are there with us and are there for us. So we pray for your protective presence now. We pray that we may turn to you for endurance during rather than just help afterward. Thank you that you do not leave us. And thank you that you are with us now, each of us, as we go about the Sabbath day, and the week to come, and the weeks after, and every day of our lives. And we pray all of this in your name. Amen. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away, sing now, fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, Life is gone, I'll fly away like a bird from prison bars that's flown. I'll fly away, singing now, fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. Joy will never 
never end I'll fly away Singing I'll fly away Oh glory I'll fly away When I die Hallelujah by and by Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today is from 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, verses 11 through 14. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. You're welcome to read along with what, whichever version you have, or simply listen. This is 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, verses 11 through 14. So Solomon finished the temple of the Lord as well as the royal palace. He completed everything he had planned to do in the construction of the temple and the palace. Then one night the Lord appeared to Solomon and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this temple as the place for making sacrifices. At times I might shut up the heavens so that no rain falls or command grasshoppers to devour your crops or send plagues among you. Then, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, 
I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your voice is the 